Four on the floor brought to you by Citywide Banks. Four questions, one mi or 30 seconds each to answer All one it. minute if you want to. No, 30 seconds. And when you hear the bell, shh. There is no bell. The bell's gone. It didn't hear it right. yesterday. First question. Were you happy or sad to see Troy Tulowitzki have such a successful debut for the Toronto Blue Jays? I was three thrilled. for five, three runs scored, yeah. a two-run homer, two doubles, three extra base hits. They win. Were you happy or sad? Oh, I was thrilled to death. He's hitting 600. He's already got a home run. He had the, the only two people have accomplished what he did in his opening day. I don't like him in the leadoff position. I think that's that's could be you know, that either says a lot about that lineup. He's never hit leadoff. I hope he hits 500. That he hits 25 home runs there. I hope it just makes Dick Monfort cry some more. Oh, I'm sorry. I did that. I'm thrilled for him. Uh, he oh, also yeah. made a great play in the field. I'm thrilled yeah. for him that he had a nice night. Um, I like Tulo. I want to see him have success. It has, and it really doesn't have anything to do with, you know, the Rockies uh, should be sorry that they let him go. I just want to see Tulo have success. He's a great ball player. I like to see great ball players win. Uh, you know? And he's going to love playing on an yeah. artificial turf. All right, number two is Deflate Gate. Is the saga of Deflate Gate changing your perception of Tom Brady either as a player or a person? No, no. I, all the stuff. I'm I'm going to go back to one moment in my life. The Broncos had a uh, reunion of the 1977 team. And I went down and I was shaking hands with all the players. They are playing the Patriots. Josh McDaniels was coach. Tom Brady was coming off his injury. I walked down the end zone. The Patriots get ready to get come out. I looked over at Tom Brady, who was going to lead the team out. He had his helmet off. He was getting ready to put it on. He looked at me, and he winked. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was really nice. Yeah. I mean, hey, maybe he thinks well, you're cute. cute. <laughs> no, <laughs> he's got no. I, the, yeah. He recognized me. Went, yeah, cool. Um, I, I think whether he Don't wins you like or loses, people that like you. Yeah, so. whether he wins or loses this case, whether he gets to play every game or he's suspended four games, I think the fact that he's fighting this so strongly, so ferociously, I, I think it tarnishes his legacy a little oh, okay. bit. Yeah. I really do. It, it changes was a low my draft perception choice. of him a little he bit. Got the, he, Made it. No, I, look, he's a great Super player. I, it doesn't take anything away from his playing ability. I just, I just don't understand why he's going to the mat so strongly on this one. Okay. Take your suspension okay. like a thousand other players have been suspended throughout sports and just move on. Why drag us all through this? Number three, should the NBA play regular season games in Africa? Only the, under the commissioner one, has come out and said they might. Only under one condition. Yeah. <coughs> They play Toto at the beginning of every game. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. I live man down in Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're getting at. <laughs> if they play that instead of a national anthem, yeah, I, I, I go that. You think they should play a game in Africa? I sure, don't. Why I don't. not? Because yeah, it'll wipe right. out the players. I mean, you're going to have to play the game. Wow, they're going to get diseased? You, Ebola no, no, or something? No, no, no. No, I, no the, the time differential. Um, it, it just it wipes guys and it it's wipes like teams Europe. out. I think it, it's like I think, Australia. People play. Yeah, I don't think they should do that either. I just don't. Didn't it, didn't it seem odd to you and didn't it seem wrong that Major League Baseball opened up with two games in Australia, then played more preseason games, then no. started the regular season? No. Oh, what? that was so weird. You, I, you think it's okay for players to be traded and nobody should be upset. And I didn't say I and thought it should be you, okay. Whatever. What, what I said I, was, I, I was it happens, you got to get used okay. to it. All right. Well, then you always they're, play, say. <laughs> they're playing in Africa. Get used to it. Get, get I, accustomed to I it. I guess I'm going to have to. Go to didn't you go to any of those games the Broncos games. had played in London and stuff? There were exhibition games. No, they played a real regular season game there. Don't you remember they cheated? Hello, cheaters? Oh, oh, the game in England against yeah. San Francisco. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like those either. Okay. Well, <laughs> but not right. only that, the, the trip to Africa is forever. The trip from the East Coast to Europe is six, seven hours. Oh, well, get used to it. <laughs> you get on Fourth a big question. plane. I don't know if you saw the story. Uh, Vin Baker, former NBA star. Take an Ambien. Had, had problems with alcohol <laughs> and ended up going through all the $97 million he made as an NBA player, and now he is uh, working at Starbucks, and he's actually going to be a manager at Starbucks. He's studying to be a manager. But here's where I want to take this one. If you had to give up media, where would you like to work? 
Hawaii. <laughs> no, I don't mean <laughs> geographical location. Well, I don't care where I mean, where. I mean like uh, Starbucks. Okay, where I, would you like to work? Oh, oh, what I, retail outlet I would, would you like, like to work retail at? Retail outlet? I would like to work at a pineapple store. There's the... In uh, Hawaii. In <laughs> Hawaii. <laughs> they, they have a place called the A to Z stores. I would like to work there as a clerk, uh, part-time, four hours a day in the, in the night. With a two-hour <laughs> lunch break. <laughs> So well, I can eat you, pineapple. Where do you want to work? In an outlet? You know what? I th <laughs> no, I've thought about this a lot. Oh, God. Give me a break. I love Costco. <laughs> Seriously. Everybody at Costco who works there seems to be happy. They seem to be fulfilled. Oh, come on. They seem to enjoy their jobs. Are you going to be the guy that collects the uh, I'll do whatever they want grocery me to do. carts and takes them Two back Two-minute warning. I'll do okay. whatever they want okay. me to do. Right. I'll box your stuff. I'll work the uh, register. I'll... I'll you know, do the, uh, what do they call those things? Grocery carts. Push, push, they'll, yeah. they'll push the cart, you know, around and... Oh. Caddy. What, a caddy they call them? Cart caddy. Cart caddy? Yeah. yeah. That's what I want to do. Oh, I like mine better. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I want to work at a Costco in Hawaii. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Where they sell a lot of pineapple.